Hi, my name is Jeremy Young, I'm the CEO of Atomus and I'm just going to show you the Ninja and explain what the Samurai also would do. So what we have here is a portable recorder, playback and monitoring device. It's a touch screen interface and what we do is we take from the lens and sensor of the camera, we bypass in-camera compression. We don't play the games of Sony and Panasonic and go to in-camera compression. We come out 10-bit, 422, directly from the camera, camera sensor and into the Ninja. You can see here we're recording 1080i 5994, it tells you what the source feed is. We're going to ProRes HQ, we can go to 422 or LT. So that's 220 megabits a second, 150 megabits a second and 100 megabits a second. If I'm record, you can see down here I've got two hours of recording in HQ. If I change I've got three hours in 422 and LT is four hours and 20 minutes. What determines what I can record is what disk you put in. You go and buy this from your local store. This is a normal hard disk. You can also use SSDs, but they're more expensive. 95% of shooting cases, you can definitely use hard disks. It's the way you write to the hard disk is very important. We've, we've developed our own very unique technology that allows us to use robust hard disk to ensure that you're always recording. And I'll show you that in a minute. So you, you pop that in, you put the screws in. We give you the, these caddies when you buy the unit. So you put that in there, and it's a monitor, a recorder and a playback device. You can see the time code here. I've got batteries, so now I'm, I'm, I'm online. If I go to a monitor, then I can zoom in and give myself, make sure that I'm focused on the right area. I want to do the ninja there crystal clear. You can see that monitoring is very, very clear. So I'm happy with that shot. You can see I've got audio coming in. So I, can, I know I've got a feed. I know I've got a video feed. I know I've got an audio feed. So I'm happy with that shot. I can remove the overlay on the monitor, come back. So I want to hit, if I'm recording for two hours or six hours or five hours, that was a 250 gigabyte drive. A 750 gigabyte drive will give you 15 hours of LT, 10 of 422 and seven hours of HQ. That's an amazing amount of recording time. But what happens with the batteries? I have to power the unit for that long. Well, we've solved that problem too. You've got a dual battery system. We use standard Sony MP570 batteries. Most people have these lying around. We give you two in the box. These are 2600 milliamp high powered Sony batteries. We use the same cells as Sony, but the higher power ones from the same manufacturer gives you a bit more juice. You get three to five hours out of this depending on how you use the device. If you're monitoring and going to HQ recording then it's about three hours. If you're in LT and no monitoring it's five or more hours. Two of those on there you're between six and ten hours of recording. So that's great. However, you can continue recording because this is a hot swappable system. So I'm going to show you. I'm just going to hit record. While I'm recording I can swap out this battery, get a new one, put it on the device and I'm still going. What happens if I take the wrong one off while I'm recording? It flicks across to the other side and continues recording. There is no, this is a bomb proof device. It's aircraft grade aluminium. Feel that device. Very solid, very strong. Everything's locked in. You can't pull the hard disk, oh you can if I don't put it in right. You can't pull the hard disk out until you undo it take it out. So everything is built so that you can record and record and record. So I'm still recording. Yes, you just get adapter for the same, like you do, like, like the camera is. Straight out, 8.4 volts, straight to the, ca straight to the, to the Ninja. Alright, I'm going to stop recording. I've got, see you man. I've got recording HDMI audio. I can turn analog audio on if I've got an analog connection coming in. You've got LANK in and out to remote control from either a Panasonic or a Sony. You've got a line-in audio, stereo audio coming from a mixing desk or an XLR external juice box or something like that. You've got headphone monitoring where you can flick between what's coming from the camera embedded in the HDMI or from the analog audio that you've got separate. So you can, you can adjust the gain of the analog. So I've just recorded, you just saw what I recorded. I'm going to hit play. Let me show you first, I'm in scene and shot. 
scene one, shot one. And every time you hit stop and record, it increments a new take. So we have scene, shot, take that you see in the folder structure when I bring it into Final Cut in one minute. So if I go back to play what we just played back, I'm in scene one, shot one. Here's all the takes I've done today. I'm up to take 20. If I hit play, this is a software playback. It's about a half resolution. The hardware full version playback is about a week away. We just couldn't fin finish it for the show. And that will look like the monitor looks like. So I want to know I've got the shot. I've definitely got that shot. I'm very happy with it. Hit stop. I'm going to take that out. Remember, I'm scene one, shot one, take 20. Just to prove to you that we're doing this in real time. I'm going to come across to the... So the ninja will pop up in the corner as I start Final Cut. Can you monitor while you're recording? Yes, you can monitor while you're recording. I didn't show you that. I'll show you that in a sec. So the ninjas come up in the device. I'm going to bring it in. I'll arrange the windows, normal windows. Is that a special box that you have over there to bring it in? This is a, it's called a Master Caddy. Uh, sorry, a docking station. It's a, US, it's a USB 2 and 3 and Firewire 800 device. You get this in the package. I'll show you what you get. Standard window arrangement. Okay, let me import the files. Import. I'm going to import the folder. I was scene one. Shot one. Take 20. I'll import that. I'll put that directly on the timeline. Yes, I want to match the ProRes footage. Come back to the start. And there's my beautiful, pristine ProRes HQ. And if I show you here, tell me that isn't beautiful. No. You eject the Ninja Drive, and if you're on a monitor, you won't see it either. Bring it back, straight in. This is what you get. You get two batteries. You get the charger, AC adapter. You get the docking station with Firewire 800, USB 2 and 3. Hang on a second. Ah, oh, the docking station. You get, a, you get two master caddies. We call this a master caddy because this is your master. $40, 250 gigabyte drive from Fry's. Finish it, whack it on the shelf. This is your master copy. We're back to tape, people. DV days are back. Record to your editing format at the camera, edit it, and then master to it, and then distribute in Blu-ray MPEG, just like we did with DVDs. That was the boom days, right? So you get all this and the Ninja, all the cables you need. Yes, yes, you get that. You get that in the box. So the Ninja goes for 995, including the whole thing. The test for the case was I had to jump on it with a Ninja in it, and it was all right. This is the only case that passed the test. I jumped pretty hard. That's for the. That's for the. You get exactly the same for the Samurai, just with the SDI version inside. So the Ninja's available now. We've been shipping for a couple of months, and the Samurai's available middle of summer.